The business community has seen many changes over the past few years. In tonight's community conversation with Charles Christian, Natalie Redmond, president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, reflects on some of those changes. Charles. Thank you, Morgan, and thank you, Natalie, for being our guest today. My pleasure. Uh, we, I know that it's been a busy time for the Chamber and for you, and this is this particular role is new for you, but you're not new to the Chamber. Talk about how you ended up being a part of the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, so I started at the Chamber about 17 years ago. I've been in the community uh, longer than that, about 25 years. Okay. And I was working for an association management company, so working with businesses and members, uh, advocating for them, putting together events for them. So it was a natural transition to work for the Chamber. I wanted to have more of that community involvement right. um, and to be able to work more locally. Great, well, uh, and now you, you've been the president for a few, just a few months, really. Yeah, since January. January, yeah. yeah. yeah so not, not incredibly long, almost you know, moving on toward a year, I guess. But uh, how has that uh, transition, that new role, uh, played into your strengths? And uh, what are you uh, seeing in this, uh, in, in this current state of the uh, chamber? Yeah, well, it's been a really nice transition for me because I had been at the chamber a long time. And I feel like me transitioning into this role has allowed has allowed me to grow and expand um, my network in the community. And then also allowed for fresh ideas as we brought in staff that replaced me in the roles I was in. So I think it's been, you know, great. Um, it's been a breath of fresh air for me getting to do some new things and having some new opportunities and challenges and getting to work with new staff that have new ideas. Sure. And um, it's really it's really been a lot of fun. That's great. And speaking of networking, now the chamber is seems to me an always an active voice in the kind of community networking that's happening in St. Joseph with the desire, for instance, to improve infrastructure, to attract new business. Talk about uh, the Chamber's role in that uh, sort of networking process that's happening in our community. Yeah, well, the Chamber serves a couple of roles. Well, one of our roles is really supporting the business community with networking and educational opportunities to help them be successful. The other piece is really kind of growing that community betterment, sure. um, creating that place where we can thrive and creating um, a great local economy. Sure. So we we are able to do things from helping small business and have events like Shop St. Joan Restaurant Week, all the way up to doing DC fly-ins where we're advocating for the community in DC and um, at the table for you know critical issues, planning um, the 2040 and things that we're doing within the community. Right. So it's we do sit at a lot of tables and That's it's right. a wide variety of things, um, but it's really our mission comes back to growing a local economy and really community betterment. Right, what, what are some of the keys to attract new businesses to a community like St. Joseph? You know, well, we have so many fantastic businesses in St. Joe. I, as I travel across the state or across the country, one of the things that people are blown away by is how many businesses we have in St. Joseph. Um, you know, whether it's a Nestle Purina R&D where mm -hmm. they're developing, um, you know, your next greatest cat food right. or dog food, sure. um, you know, to a gray manufacturing or, or an Altec. So right. that's one of the, the secrets in St. Joe, the secret sauce is we have all these great right. companies. Sure. And I think the big part for us right now is that workforce piece. So really working with the companies to make sure that they can get the talent right. um, that they need to be successful. And so with that, you know, comes a lot of different facets. It's making sure you have a place people want to live, yeah, sure. um, that you have a school district people want to send their kids to you, that you have housing for folks, and you have amenities. So there are a lot of things that play into part with that. That's great. And so the Chamber is a part of all those conversations in many ways, right? Yeah, a lot of times the Chamber's role is to be a convener. And usually Chambers, you know, when you travel, you might have lived in a community where the Chamber was a little different than sure. our Chamber. Right. And really that's because Chambers tend to be what their community needs them to be. Okay. So we yeah. kind of morph into um, what our community needs us to be at that time and right. to be able to help the community be successful. Now, one of the things that you've been a part of just recently that we've covered is the, the job fair. And you said you connected yeah. with, uh, you, you connected even with some uh, university students who were looking to make that connection. Talk about how that went for you. Yeah, so we were really excited to have a job fair. This is a newer thing for us. And um, we've always participated in community job fairs, but a lot of our employers had asked if we would host one. We had about 45 local businesses participate. Um, there are a lot of job openings 
audience right now and we were able to kind of target those students that maybe decided not to go back to college or maybe had just graduated college right. and hadn't figured out what they wanted to do sure. um, to, had taken the summer off and we really did have a lot of the younger population come out and it was exciting to see that and it was really fun to connect them to career opportunities. That's great. Well, that's an invest investment in the future, right? Yeah. Now, what are some of the challenges you're facing right now, especially with some of the influx of, of new new businesses, new employees, potentially? What are some of the challenges you're dealing with right now? You know, some of the challenges that we deal with, again, are workforce, and I think everybody gets, you know, tired of talking about that, but unfortunately, it wasn't just a COVID thing. It's not going to go away. We don't sure. have the population base right. as the baby boomers Tire to replace the folks and fill, so there's just a gap. Right. So the more that we can do as a community mm -hmm. to create a community where people want to live, right. um, the better chance that we have in that workforce game where we can recruit people to come live here. So sure. that includes having um, great parks and great shops and great right. restaurants and great schools and great mm -hmm. housing. Yeah, All of that well. makes a big difference on whether somebody chooses to live in your community and take a job. And it's it's become very competitive where you're competing with other country or with other uh, communities across right. the country on the workforce and right. getting people to live in your town. Wow. Well, uh, and and how does someone get involved in in the uh, in the chamber? Yeah. So our website is stjoseph.com. We have a lot of community ways that you can get involved. We host candidate forums. We have Shop St. Joe. Sure. We have Restaurant Week. We right. have our upcoming Donut Dash that supports the local museums. So there's lots of ways as a citizen you can get involved with Cup of Joe um, every Wednesday morning. But then we also play a big role in supporting the businesses. So if you have a small business in our community or a larger business in our community right. and aren't connected to the chamber, if we can support you, we're always happy to. Great. Um, we're hosting a Latino business night next Thursday at InterServe at six o'clock um, for resources for those in that community that might want to start a business. So great. we're always happy to help talk to you about how to start a business. Sounds great. Well, Natalie Redmond, the, uh, the uh, St. Joseph Chamber of Commerce, we do thank you for your time yeah. tonight. And thanks for joining us for Community Conversation. We'll have another special guest next week and we'll have more news after the break.